hope y'all are having a blessed day. It is drizzly and it is gray and cloudy today and it's been in the 50s, I believe. So the chickens didn't go out and about today. So we are here with our next little project and it is block number two in my new series of stuffed potato chips. And this time we are doing a pinwheel. It's real simple. You're just making half square triangles and you're making them in a four inch block and an eight inch block. And then they get surrounded by the potato chips. So I will turn the camera around and we will get started. Okay, I have my fabrics cut out and we'll go over the instructions. And for the four inch block, you're gonna cut two black and two white squares that are three and a half inches square. And, and then trim it down. And for the eight inch block, you're going to follow all of these instructions except you're going to cut your black and white squares five and a half inches square and then follow the above, okay? And again, these are four inch finished, four and a half unfinished, and eight inch finished, eight and a half inch unfinished, and they get surrounded by your potato chips. Okay, so starting with the smaller one, I have taken my squares and I've put them right sides together and I have marked a diagonal line from point to point on the lighter colored square. And now I am going to sew one quarter inch away from the line on both sides. I, and I have put this Seam So Easy by Lori Holt, Riley Blake on here, and I'm going to be sewing one quarter inch from the line, which means that this line is going to ride on this one quarter inch line. We're going to sew down one side and then we are going to flip it around and sew it down the other side. And I'm just riding this along this line. And you don't have to cut it. Scoop it aside and now we're going to be riding it down the same line again. All right, there's the line and there's the line. And this is riding right along that green line. And just like magic, we're done. And we can chain stitch all of these. Okay, we had some technical difficulties. No, no! Cut. Phone died, the laptop died, and my sewing machine decided to throw up. So I'm not going to make another whole set of blocks. I'll tell you what I've done. When the video tanked in the last clip, I had just finished sewing on both sides of this drawn line, one quarter inch away from it. And then I proceeded to do the same exact thing with the big one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going over to my cutting table and I'm going to take a rotary cutter and put it right on this line and I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to iron to the dark side and then I'm going to come back and we will put together our pinwheels. Okay, hopefully we have no technical difficulties. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these together following the layout. So that's like that. And then um, this one goes like that. And we're going to sew it together. That is nested. And now we're going to do the bottom and the bottom one is going to be like this. And you can, of course, chain piece these, but things are not going smoothly tonight. So I'm opting not to. Okay, I have finger press that one and I will finger press and uh, that's the way it goes. So we're going to nest these together. Okay, you can see. And I'm going to match up this corner and get it started. Okay, there is our first pinwheel. And I'm going to, I'll turn the camera off. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the larger one. And then we will come back together and we will sew our potato chips on. Okay, I have them all trimmed. These were oversized and I made them 
larger than necessary for so that beginners wouldn't be panicked about coming up short because I don't math and maybe you don't math either. So we're starting out with, we'll start out with the four inch block. That's our center one. And we're going to take one piece there and one piece here and sew it on like that. Okay, the four inch blocks get two rounds of potato chips. The eight inch one only gets one round. That's the first piece, and I'm going to finger press. And now we're putting on our second piece. And you can do this chain, chain piecing style by running the larger one through at the same time. That's up to you. I thought it'd be easier if I did it one at a time for the newbies. Okay, so now they're going to get two down each side like that. So you have to sew those together first. This one, this is such a fun jelly roll. Those colors, oh, I love them. They are so nice. That's crooked. And I'll take them off. I don't wanna confuse anybody. Okay, oops, sorry. All right, we're gonna finger press. And there's no seams that are going to match. So you don't have to worry about. Good finger press is all you need. That takes care of that. Now we have to do the two that go on the top. All right, there's that. And now the last thing that we have to do on this one is the strips of three that go down the side. Okay, so those go down the sides now. So that is our four inch block and now we're going to do the eight inch block and that is slightly quicker all we're doing is starting with two on the top two on the bottom and then three on either side there are just some days when nothing seems to go right Alrighty there, YouTube. There is our eight inch block and here is our four inch I just think these blocks are so much fun and the black and white in the center really pop. And I have to remember, I had a subscriber, I think her name was Barbara, and she was the one that mentioned on several potato chip blocks ago uh, video, she had left a comment saying, gee, I wonder what it would look like if you did a checkerboard in the middle. It was the potato chip block that I made that had the black and white centers, the two, two strips in the middle. They were um, black and white and she was curious and she said, I wonder what it would look like with a four patch in the middle. And that started the wheels turning. And that's that was the beginning of this series. So I want to thank Barbara and I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does help an old lady out. And please give the video a thumbs up and please leave a comment. The comments that you all leave on my videos make my day. I just get so overwhelmed. It gives me goosebumps. Thank you ever so much. And I invite you to join me over on Coffee for our bird series. Uh, if you see this one here, this is the owl. Let me go get him. This is bird number two. These are exclusive patterns that I have been making for my my membership crew over on Coffee. That's ko-fi.com forward slash 70 acres studio and I will put a link in the description I will put a link on an iCard and I will put a link on the end screen of the video so please do go check it out I've got lots of patterns for sale over there and again if you join one of my upper me membership tiers you will get access to these exclusive patterns that I've been designing and you'll also be able to test patterns for me and you'll be involved in my discord community that I'm building and I'm very very excited about it so please do have a very blessed day and a very blessed week and go out and find a gift from God and enjoy his many gifts because they are many. I will talk to you soon right back here at 70 Acres Studio and until then I love you all very much. God bless. Good night Elizabeth. Good night Campbell.